Okay, so me and Isaac are down here at our river, and this is where we will be bringing Oliver um, once JR is better. And it's just starting to get warm enough. The water's still pretty chilly, but it's a beautiful spring-fed river. Look how clear it is. It's really beautiful down here. But we'll bring him down here just to cool off this summer, uh, to exercise, and then um, JR will probably do a lot of lessons on him, is usually what we do down here with the young horses. So we'll see if Oliver likes it down here. Most of the horses we bring down here end up loving the water. We've had a couple that just never um, end up liking it, but most of them do. So our property actually goes from this, from the corner of that bridge, actually on the, on the other side of that bridge, and then it goes, runs along the river here, and then it goes about that tree that's hanging up, hanging over the river, it goes about that far. And then it actually crosses the river right here, and we have a little section. It doesn't go far back, but we just have a little section over there. You can't really do anything with it because um, it's that small, but that's our property line. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We love coming down here. It's just beautiful. So we're going to film it all when we bring Oliver down here. Probably bring Colt down here. We bring a lot of horses down. So, okay. I just thought you guys would like to see it. JR is not home tonight. He and Mary went to look at a new car for her. Um, so me and Isaac ran down here to the river because he, oh, he's already in. He's excited to get in. It's The water is still really cold. This this river actually stays really cold all year. Um, there's just like multiple springs that run into it and it's actually a really short river. It doesn't really, the temperature doesn't really change. Um, so it's nice cold water. Usually about the end of July when it gets really hot, you really start enjoying it. But until then, it's just freezing. <laughs> Hi Oliver, oh. are you ready for dinner? Say hello to everybody. Hi, buddy. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's little Colt. <laughs> you want some Colt? I'll get you some. Oh, Oliver loves his dinner. Okay, let's get Colt some grain. Oh, I know something interesting. So the vet had us quit the red cell and Oliver had these protein blocks in here and he was not touching them. And um, after we went, uh, or took away the red cell, Oliver has just devoured the protein blocks and they are almost gone. Um, I, so I actually started giving him a, not as much red cell as we were, because we were doing like two scoops twice a day, I think. Um, and I'm just giving him like, I don't know, three fourths of a scoop twice a day of the red cell. Cause I just, I don't know. I just felt like, well, maybe he still needed it. Cause he just got his way up. So um, I think we'll just back the red cell off slowly instead of just all of a sudden like uh, the vet had told us to do. Going against the doctor's orders, but I feel like it's the right thing to do. Did you get flies on you? We also got, or JR got all over some more hay because he ran out. Um, but this batch is not as good and Oliver and Colt do not like it as well. But we're gonna see if they'll eat it anyways. Um, they might adjust to it after a few days and start devouring it. Right now they're just nibbling on, on it a little bit. So it's been, this is day number two feeding it. Um, so we'll see in a couple days how they're doing on it. We also just had two more little lambs born. This one's a little girl. She's super cute. And this little boy, he's actually got some brown spots on him too. They're doing good though. Oh yeah, see her spots? She's so cute. I'm pretty sure that's a first time mama too. So she's doing really good. And we have all the sheep. We have the electric fence. Jared put it along the um, the road here. Um, this hillside gets really overgrown and super hard to maintain. So his idea was to put the sheep on here so they could eat it down. There's the rest of the flock. And we have a handful more mamas that look like they're about to go any minute, too. So we may have a bunch of lambs born in the next couple days. 
And for everybody asking about JR, he's doing a lot better, uh, starting to move around some. Uh, he can't do too much yet, but he'll get there. He's on the mend. But we really appreciate everybody asking about him and their concern and uh, all the prayers that have been sent our way. And until next time, we hope you enjoyed this little video, and we'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.